With freshly painted faces and grocery stores sold out of eggs, the Tennessee High Vikings will play the Virginia High Bearcats in the highly anticipated BT game. Most likely you will hear claimings to sink the Vikings or shave the kittens, yet threats are not new to this game. However, if one claims to want to declaw the Bearcats, this person must know some initial background of this hated mascot. After just coming out of a harsh divorce with a golden retriever and losing custody to her child cat dog, Whiskers the Cat scoured the internet matchmakers to find her perfect mate. Pretending to be a calico cat, Smokey, through months of internet chatting, deceived Whiskers into meeting in a nearby forest. At first, mad about the deceit, Whiskers grew silent. Yet at a second glance, Whiskers realized she was in love. At last, my love has come along. Although the couple received many objecting views in town, months went by in the perfect relationship. Whiskers met the parents, and they finally decided to get married. In the second year of marriage, Whiskers announced her pregnancy. On September the 9th, Whiskers gave birth to five children. However, due to unexpected problems, she only had four kittens. The last, Gary, was an odd mix of its parents known now as the Bear Cat. As he grew up, not being either a cat or bear, Gary was shunned from both packs of animals. Wanting to be accepted, Gary grew his fur out and began to wear tie-dyed clothing. After becoming addicted to quick lines, Gary realized he had a problem. He admitted himself into the Betty Ford School for Animals, meeting such famous animals as Lassie, Mr. Ed, and Muttley. He began to make many lifetime friends. After graduating from rehab, along with his new accomplice, the Brain, they began the enacting of their plan to rule the world. However, after a freak treadmill accident, the brain was killed in his Los Angeles crib. Crushed, Gary decided he must succeed in the brain's ultimate plan. Growing a semi-mustache, Gary took dictatorship rule of Germany, and therefore succeeded in the first step. As other steps were completed, Gary made the stock market crash, chopped down most rainforests, and invented cars, which ultimately led to a hole in the Earth's ozone layer. Seeing the problem, Ronald Reagan called for a war on the Bearcats. Taking to the mountains of Pakistan, Gary was not found for three years. When found, the United States, as a punishment, put Gary through mascot training. Being trained by such world-renowned mascots as Izzy, the Fanatic, and the Famous Chicken, Gary was forced to have a smile on his face at all times. After completing the training, Gary, when last seen, was located in Bristol, Virginia, the supposed home of the Bearcat. Remember that next time you claim you want to declaw the Bearcats, just know that the Bearcat is hurting inside.